Joining HBO Max and Quibi as the third major streaming service to launch in 2020, NBC Universal's Peacock platform enters the great streaming war with over 20,000 hours of movies and TV shows to binge. The most noticeable difference between Peacock and the rest of its competitors is the free with ads tier that gives access to an impressive 13,000 hours of the library before asking you for $4.99 for ad supported access to everything or $9.99 for the whole lot. And while that free tier is a nice perk, letting you sample both back catalog greats like the Bourne trilogy and sci-fi's Battlestar Galactica series as well as originals like the ambitious sci-fi series Brave New World, there are some glaring missteps that a company of NBC Universal's size as part of Comcast should have addressed before opening up to the public. Peacock's lack of support for 4K, external monitors, HDR, and Dolby Atmos is inexcusable. That goes double for not allowing you to download content for offline viewing, a function Netflix and Amazon Prime have provided for years and which HBO Max and Disney Plus supported at launch. The search options are also limited, and unless you know the exact name of a particular movie you're looking for, Peacock doesn't give you the option of searching by director or actor. Hopefully, Peacock will offer a more robust interface with tiles that read Paramount, Universal Pictures, and Sci-Fi instead of this current layout. There's also the issue with accessibility, as Peacock is only available in the USA at launch, and like HBO Max, is currently not supported by the popular Amazon Fire TV and Roku streaming boxes. Peacock has an impressive catalog of movies and TV series at launch, with content from notable studios including Sci-Fi, Universal Pictures, DreamWorks, Blumhouse, and many more. There's plenty here for people of all ages and genre preferences. On the movie front, Peacock is home to blockbuster franchises like the original Jurassic Park trilogy, the Matrix trilogy, and the Bourne trilogy. While there are some notable absences, such as having neither of the Jurassic World films, there's a satisfying amount of quality stuff, especially for free. One of the oddities you might notice while browsing the thousands of hours of movies and shows is a timer on the upper left portion of the screen. Steven Spielberg's seminal Jurassic Park, for example, at the time of this recording, has an eight days left to watch countdown just below the film's description. The reason for this is due to NBC Universal's licensing agreements with other providers. But IGN has learned from someone close to the situation that shows and movies leaving Peacock may return at a later date. Peacock's TV library is where the service shines, by providing eager viewers with myriad programming, including classics like Saved by the Bell and Heroes, to more recent favorites like Parks and Rec and Superstore, all for free. You'll also be able to watch new episodes of shows like Blacklist and This Is Us a week after they air, unless you opt for one of the paid tiers, in which case you can watch immediately. Another area Peacock has an edge over its competitors is sports. If you're a Premier League fan, then you'll be happy to hear that this will be home to 175 exclusive matches for the 2020-2021 season. Other notable sports viewing opportunities include the NFL, US Open Championship, and the Triple Crown Horse Races. Peacock also has tapped into the popular sports documentary market. Its initial batch of shows, including In Deep with Ryan Lochte and Lost Speedways, are a sign it's heading in the right direction. On top of its vast library of existing movies and TV shows, Peacock has also developed some of its own originals. At launch, the platform has nine shows that cover a wide range of tastes, from intriguing crime thrillers like The Capture to charming kid series like Curious George and Where's Waldo. In terms of cost, Peacock has one of the best values compared to the competition. The fact that you can watch 13,000 hours of TV shows and movies completely free without having to put your credit card information down is awesome. And if you decide to subscribe, the $4.99 offering with ads isn't too bad, considering you get live sports, news, current NBC series, and a vast library of movies to watch. NBC Universal's Peacock streaming service boasts an impressive library of new and classic movies and television shows, as well as live sports, to keep it competitive with the growing field of rivals. At the same time, flexible pricing tiers, including an ad-supported free option we haven't seen the likes of since Hulu went subscription only, make it a viable competitor in the great streaming war. However, its inability to provide basic features like 4K, HDR, downloads for offline viewing, and a lack of curated carousels to help viewers discover what kinds of programming are available to watch are shortcomings that might well be fixed in future updates. It's still disappointing to see a prestigious company like NBC Universal fail to provide some of the basic features we've come to expect from a modern-day streaming platform at launch. For more reviews, check out our review of Peacock's new original series, as well as Disney Plus's Hamilton. And as always, subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.